Yeah, welcome to this lecture. Please click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to the channel. Yeah, this is the remnant material we'll be using. It's a George fabric. It has two parts, the embroidery part and the plain part. As you can see, this is the embroidery part. With curved edges, which we'll be using at the upper part of the side of the cap. So the first thing we do is to cut out the plane and we'll be measuring 6 inches so what we're actually about to do is to cut out 6 inches of the plane part and also 6 inches of the embroidery part so you make a straight line with your ruler And then you cut off now you use the plain part to cut out the embroidery part and this you do by just placing the plain part over the other part and you cut off also Now straight to the most important part and this is placing the embroidery part on top of the plain part. From what you see earlier you can see the embroidery part has holes on it. So this plain part is actually used to cover those holes by placing it by placing it beneath the embroidery part. So it's like you're just lining it. So as you can see the holes are covered. But we'll be doing it like one or one and a half inches below the upper part of the plain part you'll be sewing the edge of the embroidery part and this is going to take a while because you just have to carefully sew the edges straight after doing this, it will give you like a spiral curve. Well, it's not going to be easy because it's something you have to take your time and do carefully. As you can see, I'm just trying to readjust everything to make sure it's all smooth, no rough attachment, because how smooth it is will determine how nice your product will look like. The material we're using is actually a George material. So if you have a mom or wife that uses this type of materials frequently, you can always ask for a piece and make your own practical. So your practical work doesn't have to be exactly like this, but understanding the concept is what's most important.
don't forget when you're sewing make sure the thread you're using is a matching thread to the thread used for the embroidering of the material so as you can see the thread i'm using is not even showing on the embroidering as it is so it basically looks like something that was done on the plain material itself and don't forget you make sure the material you cut out is longer than the measurement you'll be you'll be you'll be working with like for instance the material i cut out was like over 25 and i'm working with a measurement of 23 and a half so there is always excess for me to work with so i can easily trim off any excesses without the fear of compromising the job Now we are done with joining the embroidery part to the plain part. The next thing we'll do is sew the down part which we've already done. As you can see this is the spiral part of the top I joined. Then this other part is the down part of the plain part which is just a straight line. Then straight to the nitty gritty of the day. So we'll be using the measurement of 3 inches for the size of the height of the cap. So you mark out your 3 inches on different points of the shoe cardboard. Use your ruler to make a straight line. And as you can see the length I took from the height of the cap is beyond 23. From what I'm gathering and this should be up to 25 or even more. I like to cut SS. So when I'm trimming, I can perfectly get the desired size, preferable. So I measure excess, you see, excess of two, two and a half, so I'll be cutting 25. Mind you, I'm working with a measurement of 23 and a half. So the next thing I'll be doing is to cut out the 25. So what I'm cutting out is actually a 25 length and a 3 inches long. So it's a 25 inches wide and 3 inches height. Now after cutting that out, I have to measure 24. So I'm cutting at 24 because both part of the cap we bring in half inch to cover each other. So if half inch cover each other, what you'll be getting will be 23 and a half. Then you can use the tip of your scissors to scrape. This scraping makes your gum in even more firmer. So after doing this for one side, you do it for the opposite side of the other part. So with this being done, Applying the gum, we have more penetrating effects. The 
next on the table of content is to start applying the gun which we'll be doing right away So we do the same on the other part. So you can allow it to dry for some time or you can blow hot hair on it to make it dry quickly if you're in a hurry so as you can see i'm blowing hot hair on it to make it dry quickly and then i place on an enhancer and this is where i usually place it to help me keep the grip So after doing that, next thing I'll do is to place it inside the material soon. Then the material red and the material I so I did on exactly 23 and a half inch mark. So I'm passing it from the topper part of the material. So from that upper part of the material, it's lighter. So it can allow easy penetration of the issue cardboard. So as you can see, it enters easily. But for the other part to move will be a bit more difficult because that part is more thicker than the upper part. So the next thing will be applying gum to the inner part of the cardboard. 